Imagine stirring a spoonful of sugar into your tea. The sugar disappears, right? But it's still there, hidden within the tea. This magical transformation is what we call a solution. A solution is a special mixture where one substance disappears into another, creating something entirely new. In our tea example, sugar is the solute, the substance that dissolves. Tea is the solvent, the substance that does the dissolving. Solutions can be found everywhere in nature. The air we breathe is a solution of gases. Ocean water is a solution of salt and other minerals dissolved in water. Solutions always appear transparent, even if the solute has a color. Think of adding a drop of food coloring to a glass of water. The water changes color but you can still see through it. This transparency is a key characteristic of solutions. Importantly, dissolving is different from melting. Melting involves changing the state of a substance, like ice turning into water. Dissolving, however, involves one substance dispersing evenly throughout another, creating a new, uniform mixture. Let's zoom in to see how dissolving happens. Imagine sugar molecules as tiny building blocks and water molecules as even tinier balls. When sugar is added to water, the water molecules, like tiny magnets, attract and surround the sugar molecules, pulling them apart. These surrounded sugar molecules then spread out evenly throughout the water. This process continues until all the sugar disappears, creating a homogeneous mixture, our sugar solution. Despite the sugar seemingly vanishing, the total mass of the solution remains the same as the combined mass of the sugar and water we started with. This principle, known as the conservation of mass, reminds us that even when matter changes form, its total quantity remains constant. Not all substances dissolve equally well in all solvents. This difference in dissolving ability is called solubility. Salt, for example, dissolves easily in water, making it highly soluble. However, substances like sand are insoluble in water. They won't dissolve no matter how much we stir. Temperature plays a crucial role in solubility. Generally, solids dissolve better in hot liquids than in cold ones. Think of making a cup of hot chocolate. The hot water helps the chocolate powder dissolve much faster and more completely than cold water would. While water is the most common solvent, it's not the only one. Think of nail polish remover. It uses a solvent called acetone to dissolve the polymers in nail polish. Similarly, paint thinners use solvents like turpentine or mineral spirits to dissolve and thin oil-based paints. Understanding solutions and solubility is crucial in our everyday lives. From the medicines we take to the food we eat, solutions play a fundamental role. So, the next time you stir sugar into your drink, remember the invisible magic of solutions at work.